Hi, I'm Kerry Lord from Toft. This video forms part of a series to accompany the Edwards Crochet kits, patterns and books. So in this video I'm going to cover the first round of instructions. So you've made your six into a ring and then we're going to start working your first round of double crochet stitches. So just to recap, I'm going to start from the beginning again quickly. If you do want to recap the six stitches in a ring method, just watch the other video um, for that begin by six stitches in a ring. So using my method I'm changing, chaining two and then working six double crochet stitches into the ring to start. So three, four, five, six, pulling that tail end tight. So I've got a nice neat, nice, neat start. You can choose to use a magic loop method if you prefer um, to put these six stitches in a neat circle. But then you're going to hit the first round of instructions. So RND one, which is round one, and um, will tell you to double crochet two into the next stitch six times, and then it will give you the number 12 in brackets. So we've got six stitches at the moment. And this one on my hook, you don't count, that wouldn't be one stitch, so it would be here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And so the first stitch that I'm going to work is over here. And when I'm working a double crochet stitch, unless it states otherwise, I'm always going to put my hook beneath both sides of that stitch. So if that's the V that forms the stitch, I'm going to put my hook right in beneath both sides of that V. Yarn over and bring that forwards to this point where you've got two loops on your hook and then yarn over and through those two loops in one motion. So that's one double crochet into that stitch. So if we think back to the instruction that says um, double crochet two into the next stitch, that's me doing one into that stitch. So rather than go on to the next one, which would be here, I'm actually going to go back into the one that I've already worked and work a second stitch. So take my hook back in, yarn over to this point where there's two loops on my hook, and then do that in one motion. So that's me doing one, two stitches into the first stitch of my six. So onto my next stitch, which is this V here. I'm going to put my hook right in beneath both, yarn over and through to the point where there's two loops and through, so that's stitch three. And then I'm going to put stitch four into the same stitch as three. Then onto the next stitch, which is this one here, I'll be working my fifth and then back into the same hole to work the sixth onto the next one I can work my seventh and my eighth onto the next one ninth tenth and then into my final one so the sixth stitch of that first ring I'm going to work the last two eleven and 12. And what's really important um, using this method of crochet is that you can count the number of stitches you have in that round. Um, to keep track I'd recommend using a stitch marker and you can watch the other video um, about putting a stitch marker in and moving forward from this point. Um, but the important thing is to make sure you can count where you are. So don't count this one that's on my hook. It would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, and then pop in your stitch marker so that you know that you have done round one correctly.